today we are saying goodbye to the house we've called home for the last three and a half years. Oh, and what a journey it's been. We've had some seriously testing times with not just the renovation itself, but stuck in the middle of a pandemic amongst it all. We've also had the most amazing times. This project has been a labour of love, something we could do together as a couple. Now Joelle is all grown up and it's brought us closer together than ever before. So it's 2023 and it's time to move on, onwards and upwards and on to the next chapter in our story. And although I feel sad that it's the end of an era, I can't wait to make some brand new memories. It's time for a new challenge. It's time to see what we can do with this next renovation. So as we close the door here, we open a new one filled with adventure and I'm so excited to bring you guys along for this crazy, crazy ride. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and to a brand new video, a long awaited series. We have finally come to film the moving vlogs. So if you're new around here, then I'll just quickly catch you guys up. My name is Susie and we bought our first home, our first renovation project three years ago and we finished and we have bought a second renovation property. So it's time to start packing up our life and all our belongings, starting from this video and moving on to our next renovation adventure. We're just gonna zen. Zen with me. Today's Friday. We pick up our keys next Friday, the 17th of March. And yeah, we're so excited for this. This sale has been going on since August last year, so we're just ready to go now. <laughs> but yeah, we've got a week to pack up the house. And today is the first day of packing. Hubby has brought me some boxes from work so I can make a start on everything. We're really, really excited for the next project because the next one is a period property and it's got loads of like original features. And so we see that as a challenge, trying to restore old like Edwardian features. The house was built like a hundred years ago. So this is gonna be a challenge. Guys, I'm not gonna lie, it's an act actual shit pit, excuse my French, but it's not pretty, it's not pretty, <laughs> sometimes I think, what have we done? But if you like renovation blogs or moving blogs or home interior and all the good stuff, then you might want to stick around and subscribe. This wholesale process has been going on since last August. So as you can imagine, the anticipation, the anxiety, the frustration, the excitement, everything imaginable has been going on in my head. It's been a bloody roller coaster. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, but we're finally doing it. We're finally here. So here we are with the first moving vlog of the series. I hope you really enjoy it. And without further ado, let's get packing. I'm sure we're going to need loads more boxes than this, but we're going to make a start with those. Guess who's not sleeping? He's got his little whiskey collection out because he can't sleep out of excitement, anxiety, frustration, <laughs> God knows what. If he's not sleeping, guess who else isn't sleeping? Yeah, and we're all going to need our energy, so. May you always find your way to higher ground. May you always keep your head held up high Pretty little thing You're a diamond in the rough Shining from within Table runners Just in the top of there because we don't want all that glass to smash so we're going to use the tea towels and like napkins and things like that Napkin rings. Won't 
be needing them, will we? Coasters. We'll leave two tea towels out. These linen napkins, I absolutely love them. They're from Dunelm's Edited Range. My Christmas star placemats, these were from B&M Bargains. Aren't they nice? And how, how nice is that on, like, just on its own as like shelf decor? Anyway, Susie, stop procrastinating. Okay, they're not gonna fit in the box. I'm gonna start bringing stuff down off these farmhouse shelves because a lot of this stuff is just decor items. Um, some of it's functional, some of it's decor. So we've got another box here and I'm gonna put some kitchen decor in here because we definitely don't need kitchen decor. Not yet anyway, until we've actually got a new kitchen in the house, which I'm guessing is gonna be quite some time. So what I'm gonna do is throw away everything that's in the jars and then give these bottles a really good wash before I pop them in the box. So we've got these rolled oats, they can go in the bin as well. And we've got some blueberry shreddies. Oh my God, have you ever tried these blueberry shreddies? They're so good. We're going to leave the Roberts radio out because I'm guessing we're gonna need this for the rest of the week. So yeah, but we can get rid of this, which is just a vase. And again, decor items. Like we could put these blossom in. So I didn't get to film my spring decorate with me video, guys, could I? Sorry about that. Also, these bottles could do with a wash as well. Let's pop them over there. We'll leave the olive oil out because we're gonna need it. Mango wood cake stand that I got from Home Sense, which I absolutely love. So it's just really an obscure shape because I love all like the weird and wonderful things. Also this little lantern. Oh, we've got water in there. Right, let's decant the water. I might not even wash these because they're only going to have newspaper in all over them anyway. And then we're going to just have to wash them in the end. <sighs> My husband, he's, he's, he's got like rushing energy when it comes to moving. And I know that he just wants to get stuff done. But he rushes through it and all these things are delicate items and it just makes me worry. I'll have nothing bloody left by the time he's finished. Everything I own in the kitchen is glass. So I don't know whether to get some of that tape that says fragile. <laughs> I'm going to do candles in a separate box. This could do with going in this box. Maybe not the scissors because they're like uber sharp. Oh no, because they've got a little thingy on them. So everybody asks me about this Reed Pampas, guys. It's from, it's years old, <laughs> but I will link it in the description. A bit of a random mix in here, but they're all kind of decor items. We've got four plants. So I might do a separate box for four plants let's pop them all over here in a pile i try to figure out who i am not sure what i'm doing here and the days don't work out the way i thought they would and before you there was no one who understood Never found somewhere I fit in Until I met you I was feeling lost Hello, it's now Saturday and I've just jumped in the car because we're going to I've heard that like being in bargains like give you boxes for free if they've got them so yeah basically I'm on the hunt for some free boxes I'm not prepared to um pay loads of money on Amazon to get boxes delivered I'm just really savvy I'm too savvy for that and yeah so I'm sure someone somewhere has got some boxes for me because three boxes last night I packed with you and I realized very quickly that's not gonna do so yeah that's the job this morning so let's get on with that and then also we're going to get back home have some brunch as usual and take the dog for a walk and just do the usual jobs the house is looking a little bit bare for my liking already um i'll show you what it looks like later on 
hubby normally cooks us dinner on a Saturday night as well but we've decided to not bother and book a reservation at our local country pub which I love. I've just been there the other day with my best friend. I didn't film anything inside though so I'll make sure I try and film some of the yummy food that we get in there. So yeah, let's get going shall we? So as you can see we've got the goods. <laughs> so I went to B&M and she said you're in luck we've got a few boxes so i've got a few more to pack today so it's actually really good that we're getting them in dribs and drabs because then i'm not like getting tons of boxes that i'm not going to use and then like wasting them and it just helps me to pack and organize slowly throughout the week so it's actually really handy it's been done this way so yeah we're on our way home i'm going to drop these boxes off pick up the puppy and go to the park it's not Saturday if we don't have an avocado brunch. Say hi to the vlogs. Hi, Say hi to the moving vlogs. <laughs> Actually, it's me in the vlogs. <laughs> Did he just swear? I'm moving, Suzanne, and we need we need to be able to put things down. Okay. Ashley's making me hurry along and I'm procrastinating I'm procrastinating because I feel some type of way obviously I've spent three years in this house doing it up and I don't know I just feel really reluctant about taking everything down <laughs> anyway we're in the hallway and I'm gonna start well Ash has already started because he's took my gallery wall down I'm gonna start packing up the hallway and some more bits and bobs so we'll start in here you're the one who can make it go away all you have to do is look at me Sometimes I, I can't breathe But it feels like you're the one who saves me When I try, but don't succeed Yeah, it feels like you're the one who saves me The one who saves me there's something wrong with my hair at the moment i don't know why it's so bloody greasy but i'm really not that bothered <sighs> trying to find a place where i can show you what i've got on so we've got my h&m knitted dress i've got a monica binader fine link necklace on it's also raining outside so i have my shein wool trench coat so we've arrived at the pub and it's flipping snowing again <laughs> snowing know, give me a know. kiss is out of the way and he's gone to work I feel like I can pack up the boxes properly because that's what I'm in charge of he's in charge of moving the big bits and like dismantling the furniture and stuff like that why am I doing this <laughs> I have been chief procrastinator this weekend the house is upside down and I just 
don't have the energy to do it i'm reluctant i'm feeling a bit rebellious with it i know it sounds really weird and it's an exciting thing and we're moving on to the next property and we get to do it all again i know all this but i just can't help but feel sad in this house i don't know i remember sitting here in the living room when we first bought this place and I just remember sitting there, stripping the wallpaper off near, around the, near the fireplace over there and I was just crying. I started like sobbing out of happiness because we've been through a bit of a journey with, I don't know, buying your first house. It's a bit of an emotional roller coaster, and then obviously all the hoops you have to jump through in, in getting your first mortgage together. So yeah, it was a bit of a relief and I just couldn't believe we were sat in our own house that we'd bought and... We were about to embark on the renovation journey and I was stripping the wallpaper off. <laughs> I'm sobbing. Like, obviously, that was three years ago. It only seems like three weeks ago. And it just, time just flies by, doesn't it, guys? We're going to try not procrastinate today. So I've been out this morning. I've got more boxes from B&M, actually. They're really good at giving you the boxes if they've got them, if you're looking to move. I've also got that funny, watery eye situation again. And so has Ralphie in the same eye. Hubby's not sleeping at all, by the way. Um, he's getting up at like five, six o'clock in the morning and just really restless in the night. The other night, he was up with a whiskey in the middle of the night. Obviously, he was trying to get back to sleep, but I don't want him to be like <laughs> relying on alcohol <laughs> to go to sleep. But I think obviously, it's just really, really exciting. We spent the weekend just chatting about plans and like maybe plans for the new house. It's all really exciting. So he's not sleeping, I'm not sleeping. And yeah, it's very, very unsettled right now, even though it's an exciting thing. I've got a few boxes to pack today and i'm trying to be as organized as possible it's really really messy in the house i'll show you in a minute where we're up to but i feel like it's an organized mess i'm gonna put on my favorite film in the whole entire world which is the greatest showman and yeah it really inspires me brand new street and brand new me side by side by friends i need don't you tell me that you're in town I already know, couple days ago Hey, now that our names are written in stone Let's be honest, sounds like home Still I'm here alone and I'm calling your phone I wish I could wipe my own memory out I wish I could dream about somebody else I wish I could talk when the silence so loud I wish, oh I wish I wish I could wipe my own so This is what the office is looking like at the moment I've took everything off the shelves And I'm just gonna get this box together And pop all my beauty products in loads of beauty products we're gonna have a purge at the same time and just put everything away really also guess what arrived a charity bag arrived um just in the nick of time so any unwanted clothing because we're going to get on with the wardrobes today as well all the unwanted items and clothing can go in here and they'll be picked up tomorrow so that was handy i would die if i saw you now Dreams might turn into something real Don't you give me the look, take a bow I already know, now you gotta go Hey, now that our names are written in stone Let's be honest, sounds like home Still I'm here alone and I'm calling your phone I wish I could so this is what we're looking like in the kitchen it's brightened up again now but it was snowing two minutes ago we're looking quite bare can you still see the snow on the skylight yep so we're getting there um i've just been making little piles so this is more home decor to go in a box I've, then i've got my throws blankets tea towels all that stuff in that box down there and then obviously they're going back in the fridge because I have my own baskets in the fridge. They're going back in the fridge because it's all integrated. 
bits of furniture, my little lamps come out. And then I've just been washing in the dishwasher and collecting all of my glassware. So we've got to wrap up these individually. I think this is what takes up the most time. So I've been collecting newspapers, which I'm having to buy from the shop. And yeah, that's the plan for this afternoon. every single day this week packing up the house and I am tired as you can probably imagine it's very stressful there's lots going on the house is upside down it's starting to look really bloody bare and I think I've mentioned that already well I've been editing each day's footage and compiling into the vlog and I've noticed <laughs> I've noticed so I do apologize so I've noticed my decline in outfits obviously i'm very limited i've just started packing up the wardrobes and yeah i'm really limited i have been living in joggers t-shirts old t-shirts old shirts i usually keep my old shirts you know that i did the renovation in this house with so yeah i thought i'd make a little bit more of an effort today so i've put on a nice face of makeup i've took my time i can't really um do much with the hair so you'll just have to bear with me with that because i've actually packed all of my electrical i've also piled on the under eye um concealer because girl is tired and i've also say hello to my little friend i've also got a little friend who has appeared so <laughs> I mean, it's totally normal, isn't it, guys, when you're moving house and you're highly stressed and anxiety and ridden and everything else. <laughs> anyway, so I knew this, obviously, day was coming and this week and I still wanted to look really good. So I have been on the lookout for some nice, like, co sets that I can live in but are not too expensive where I'm worrying about getting them wrecked during the move and in the renovation. So I had a little shop on Pretty Little Thing and I found a little co set that could work and be really comfortable it's not too expensive and it'll look really good if i keep it clean where i can be in the renovation and then like say we're going out for dinner or just going out quickly or i have to go somewhere where i need to look a bit better than joggers and shirts with paint splashes all over them i could just like throw on a trench coat over the top and stuff like that so i bought this and it is a like a sports looks I will try it on for you guys in the cutout clips but it's like got that color that I love and it's in this like really heavy ribbed fabric so I picked this up in a size 14 because I want a nice oversized um jumper and it's got long sleeves it's in this chocolate brown color which i absolutely love so it'll just go with absolutely everything and it's a long top so it covers the bum also i can tuck it in if i want to and yeah i like the neckline the most i feel like that looks really nice the only problem is which is just a me thing it's a me problem it's a susie problem the zipper is like silver it is an aged silver like a brushed silver so that's good it's not chrome <laughs> i don't know why i'm like this with details i'm going away from the chrome no chrome not even brushed chrome is coming into the new house but for the price of this i thought it was really nice so i picked up the leggings i think they're leggings i can't remember what they described them as but i don't care if they're a little bit baggier I don't know anyway we'll see but the really heavy thick ribbed which i'm really excited about so they feel really good quality can we turn them up probably might not want to not sure but like i said it's a nice little two-piece 
but can just go with everything and see me through the next few weeks and months. So yeah, that arrived this morning. I'm gonna try them on for you now. So I will pop cutaway clips here at the side. And I just realized guys, this order is my final order in this house. I've actually just started doing a list yesterday of all the things that I need to change my address on. There's so much to do when you're changing a dress. There needs to be some sort of company or technology where everything just gets done for you in that respect. I don't know. That is the future. <laughs> also, I ordered something from Shein. So this one arrived yesterday. I've actually popped it on a hanger because it was a little bit creased from the packet. Anyway, I thought I would just pop it on the hanger, try and get rid of the creases. I just always think they look better when the steam got the creases out and hung on a hanger, and then you can get a real good feel for it. It makes it look so much more expensive as well than when it comes in the little, you know, the little packages that they come in. You're going to see this neckline everywhere this year. I am telling you now. I thought this would look really nice casually with a pair of wide leg joggers and some trainers you know for the spring and a little t-shirt tucked in underneath just think it's absolutely stunning there was one from h&m that i really really wanted i will pop it on the screen for you now and if it's available i'll link it down below as well it's not available i've asked them to notify me when it is but it's just out of stock all the time i believe mango and places like that have started to get some in as well and like these type of cardigan neckline jumpers but all the ones I like are out of stock. So I found this on Shein and it took about a week to get here. So yeah, I picked this up in a large and I can't remember what price it was because it were over a week now and it's been a bloody long week in this house this week. So I will pop it on the screen how much it was. I'll also link this down below if you're interested. It's absolutely lovely. And they've got other styles on Shein as well. This quality is actually really really good and there's no threads hanging off hardly that I can see anywhere um so yeah this is what it looks like from behind just a really smart little cardigan for the spring I absolutely love it although I am thinking now what the hell did you buy this for because it's quite nice isn't it and I don't think I'm going to be going anywhere soon we're going to have our heads stuck on this renovation for the foreseeable future right up until the autumn more than likely so I'll try it on and I'll see what I think Sorry, I've not picked up the camera today, guys. I've just finished my evening shower. Guess what I found in the cupboards? <laughs> I found these um, lint chocolates. So I'm going to sit and watch some TV with Hubby and we're going to share these chocolates. I'll see you tomorrow. It's Thursday, the penultimate day of the move. And I'm just sat here in McDonald's car park using the free Wi-Fi. How cheeky. I'm using the free Wi-Fi because they've actually cut us off now at home. We've got Virgin Broadband at home and they've cut us off. So um, I'm here using the Wi-Fi. Luckily, not uploading any YouTube videos or else I'd be sat here all bloody day. So obviously, I've taken a break from YouTube. There was no way I can be filming videos for YouTube and editing. It takes so much time as well as packing the house up. So I've had no choice but to take a week off. Anyway, yeah, so I am using the free Wi-Fi. I did get a breakfast this morning. It's like, what time is it? We're quarter to... I think it's about quarter to ten in the morning. I got a breakfast from McDonald's. Never have I ever had a breakfast from McDonald's before. So I got um, a bottle of orange juice and a double sausage and egg McMuffin and a hash brown. Love hash browns. Hash brown. Oh my God, that's good. That is so good. Yeah, so I'm going to stay here in McDonald's using the Wi-Fi communicate with everybody i need to communicate with this morning run all my errands and then off we go back home to do basically today a final clean so like an empty house clean also still not sleeping very well at all i'm just not sleeping very well so i'm going to go to the chemist today and pick up some night all hopefully it's going to help me sleep i'm really weird like that i can't sleep in a new place it like takes me so long to settle and get a good night's sleep 
I'm so tired. It's not that great. I can see the appeal for people that are like starving on the road and going through the drive through and things like that. Then this would be a welcome like meal. Oh, you're gonna come right next to me, aren't you? Sometimes when you're out in the car vlogging, like I just know that woman who's pulled up next to me is probably looking at me. Like, what the hell is she doing eating a burger and talking to a camera? <laughs> anyway, guys, I'm blabbering on. I'm going to finish this egg McMuffin, sausage and egg McMuffin, which isn't great. There's too much going on around me to concentrate anyway. And I'm going to just whiz around in the car, get some petrol, get all my little errands done, and then we're going to go back home and do some cleaning. Just popped all these in... The dishwasher this morning, these are the inserts to the cutlery drawers. So they're nice and clean now, stainless steel. And they're like bespoke fit. So it just saves me getting in there and wiping everything down in there. So that was handy. I just took them all in the dishwasher. So we're going to put them back in the drawer. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright so excited we actually picked up the keys first thing this morning it's still quite early and i'm just waiting near the house now for ash to come with this first van load and then yeah we're gonna show ralphie around his little home i'm so tired we didn't sleep last night very well we had broken sleep kept waking up like every two hours <laughs> so it's a full-on day i've done most of my work which was the packing and the cleaning it's now ash's turn so he's just pulled up actually with a van full joelle's not even seen it yet either <laughs> hopefully she'll show up this weekend at some point who knows she's out there living life so the next video you're gonna see is an empty house tour Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next episode of the moving series. Bye guys.